Dan's journal Friday the 31st. We learned a valuable lesson today. The law of the jungle is stronger than any law made by man. safe now. The cat from the trap could have been much worse. Hi, sweet thing. Yeah, you almost lost a few toes, huh? <laughs> think she'll be all right to let out in a couple of days? I think so, sweetie. Hi, guys. Here are your slides and lens for the microscope. Hey, wonderful. Now I can go on with my work. Would you stay for lunch? Uh, thanks. Another time. Oh, Dan. Passing up lunch, man, you must be really sick. You don't come to mention it, you don't look too good. <laughs> Very funny. Oh, I heard from Bendelli. Commissioner Davis retired. The new guy's is on his way here at Claxton. I can't wait to meet him. Don't count on it, Jane. According to my pal Jim and Butu, he's a real stickler for rules and regulations. Worst, he's gung-ho on hunting. Brags that his trophy room's the best in the country. Charming. Another macho hunter. Yeah, but a macho hunter who controls the whole territory. I don't get it. What does that have to do with you passing up lunch? Oh, nothing. But he's also a neat freak, Raj. And since uh, the only thing messier than my hangar is your tent, I'm going home to do some serious cleaning. See you, Jane. Well, my tent isn't that messy. It's a little unorganized, maybe. But... I'll go clean it up. <laughs> Come on, sweetie. Yeah. must be Jane Porter. That's right. And this is Roger Tapp, Jr., my assistant. I'm Wilfred Claxton, the new territorial commissioner. No doubt you heard I was coming. Uh, right. Dan Miller had, uh, had told us. I guess you met Dan already. No. But from what I heard, he doesn't log proper flight plans. Oh, please, Commissioner. Out here in the middle of nowhere? That's not important. Frankly, my dear lady, I could care less about your opinion. I don't think you should be talking to Jane that way. I'm not out here to win any popularity contests. Unlike my predecessor, who spent half his time fishing, the other half going to parties, I intend to bring order and discipline to this territory. I'm glad to hear that. I mean, we can start by stopping all this poaching and hunting. 
Don't tell me my business, Miss Porter. Your position here is a tenuous one at best. You require a permit to stay here and perform your research. A permit which can be revoked by me at any time. Are you threatening me, Commissioner? You call it what you like. Next time you break the law, like tearing up a hunting license, I'll have you deported. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. You see, my father is funny. Be quiet, Sonny. I've already contacted your father's attorneys and given him the same warning. Hunting is here to stay, whether you like it or not. It culls the herd and brings much needed revenue into the territory. Revenue I plan to increase by developing a new game part strictly for hunting. So don't try and drive away any more hunters. Well, you see, Jane didn't drive anybody away. That was Tarzan. Oh, come now, Sonny. Do you really expect me to believe such an idiotic jungle legend? Tarzan is no legend, Commissioner. What, a half-naked ape man swinging through the trees? Really, Miss Porter, as I told that hunter, uh, Wilson, do I really look that gullible? Well, if you don't think Tarzan's for real, I'll go get him for you. Forget it. I have too many villages to inspect to waste time humoring your imagination. Now, everything you did is written in here. So remember what I said. You toe the line, or you move out. What is it? We just met the new commissioner. He's awful, Tarzan. The rudest man I ever met. Yeah, get this, he's pro-hunting. He wants to set up a park just for hunters. He threatened to shut down my research project because I thought that man's hunting license. Tarzan will not let that happen. No, you don't have a choice. You can do whatever he wants. You can't stop him. Not without breaking the law. Tarzan will not break the law, but there are two laws. Man's law and the law of the jungle. Both must be respected. He doesn't respect anything, especially the jungle. Tarzan will teach him respect. Well, this is obviously the end of the trail. Bring my rifle. You never know when a trophy head might suddenly present itself. Oh! <gasps> 
the devil are you? Tarzan. Tarzan? The ape man? You really do exist. You cut me down. You must first promise to Tarzan that you will respect the law of the jungle. Yeah, I promise. Yes, cut me down. Second, you must promise that you will not make part of the jungle a game park for hunting. Yeah, I absolutely agreed. And you must give Tarzan your word that you will not make Dan or Jane leave the jungle. Yeah, I promise. I promise. Now, for heaven's sake, cut me down. Jane's compound. Tell Jane you've learned respect for the jungle. The next time we meet, Mr. Ape Man, I'm going to teach you the meaning of respect. I can't believe it. I spent hours making my place look like home and garden, and this man doesn't even show up. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Mm -hmm. Back so soon, Mr. Claxton? You should have come with us. You could have met Tarzan. I already met him. Yeah, looked like it was a real knockdown, drag out conversation. Just what I need barroom humor. I gather you're Mr. Miller. In the flesh, Commissioner. Oh, lemonade? I need a shower and a place to sleep. Tomorrow, one of you have to drive me back to my Jeep. Ever heard of a word, please? You won't find things so amusing, Miss Porter, when I get back to Bendali. Nor will your uh, friend, Tarzan. Another friend? Call it a promise. I'm going to remove that heathen savage from my jungle if it's the last thing I do. You can't do that. Tarzan can exist without the jungle. Well, then he's going to have to learn. The jungle is government property. Tarzan's nothing but a trespasser. That's nonsense. The jungle belongs to everyone. Not according to Bengali law. And since I represent that law, am I making myself clear? You have to catch him first. Wrong, Mr. Miller. You and Miss Porter are going to perform that pleasant little task for me. <laughs> You've been in the sun too long. Tarzan gave me the idea. Tarzan told you how to capture him? Exactly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back the truck up just a little. Uh, just how did he do this? By expressing his concern for you and Miss Porter. If Tarzan doesn't surrender, I'll revoke both your visas. Have you deported? No. No, you can't do that. Jane's research is way too important to stop now. And I've worked for years to build up my freight and charter service. Everyone knows that, especially Tarzan. Exactly what I'm counting on, Mr. Miller. If I learn nothing else about your eight-man friend today, it's that he has great loyalty and integrity. Now, about that shower. <laughs> As much as I love it here, I would blame myself forever if that was the reason that Tarzan had to leave the jungle. Oh, man, join the club. Tarzan without his jungle? No way. And if we tell Tarzan what Glaston is threatening us with, there's no telling what he will do to the commissioner. Tarzan could be in a lot of trouble. You're right, Jane. And I'd do just about anything to prevent that from happening. Well, I guess that's it then, huh? We may as well start packing now. What do we say to Tarzan? I don't know. Anything but the truth. <sighs> Jane is leaving? Why? I've been offered this job in Paris, a chance to work with a famous anthropologist. Jane would rather be in Paris than in the jungle with Tarzan? Of course not. But it's a great opportunity for me and my career. I'd be foolish to turn it down. Tarzan thought Jane was happy in the jungle. I am Tarzan, but well, you don't understand. Tarzan understands. Jane would rather go away and be with this doctor. Don't say it like that. You sound like I'd rather be with him than you. It is true, but Jane would not leave. Tarzan, it's not that simple. Sometimes people have to do painful things in order to help their career. Please try to understand. Tarzan only understands that Jane is leaving. The jungle will be empty without Jane. Will Jane miss Tarzan? 
More than you'll ever know. Tell Tarzan. So Tarzan will know. I miss you more than... more than you love the jungle. The truth is... I don't know how I'm going to live without you. Jane does not leave. Jane would not have to live without Tarzan. Jane's gonna work in Paris, huh? Jane says it is better for her career. Is that why Dan is leaving also? Yeah, I guess you can say that. I'm gonna make more money working for the airlines. Of course, I won't be my own boss. But a guy can't have everything, right? Tarzan had everything. Once. Not now that his friends are leaving. I'm gonna miss you, big guy. Long as I live, I'll never have another friend like you, Tarzan. Is that all that Dan wants to tell Tarzan? Uh, I guess goodbye says it all. No. Tell Tarzan the real truth. Okay, Tarzan. She's eating him! Why should Tarzan help a man who lies? Well, what are you talking about? I didn't lie. You gave Tarzan your word you would not make Dan or Jane leave the jungle. No, I, I didn't. I mean, that's the, the truth, ape man. I never said they had to leave. What did you say? Uh, nothing. I, I just... Where are you going? Tarzan will return when your memory returns. But Tarzan! No, don't leave me, Tarzan! Please, Tarzan! I'll be eaten alive! All right! All right, it's my fault! Jane and Dan are leaving! That's the truth! I admit it! Help me out of here! Why is it your fault? Because... I was using them as bait to capture you. Write the words that Tarzan speaks. I will not make Jane Porter, Roger Type Jr. or Dan Miller leave a jungle. And for as far as the eagle can see from the top of Man Bandali, there will be no hunting. Tarzan, that's wonderful. Commissioner, I'm sure you won't regret it. I regret it already. The commissioner breaks his word again. 
The law of the jungle will find him. Don't worry, ape man. I stick by what I've written. Ah, you won this round. There'll be others. One false move by any of you. I'll be at the Bendali airport waving goodbye to you. Nice guy. Well, I guess I'd better uh, get going before His Highness changes his mind about flying to Bendali. Wait. Dan is not leaving the jungle? Funny you should mention that, Tarzan. I just got word from my pal Mbutu. Seems there are no openings at the airlines. Guess I'll have to hang around here for a little while longer. Oh, well. Is Jane still going to Paris? Oh, Paris is on the hold. Jungle will not hurt Jane's career? If anything, it will help. Well, if you excuse me, I've got to unpack. Yeah, me too. I'll see ya. Cheetah and Tarzan are lucky they do not have careers. Leaves more time to enjoy life in the jungle. <laughs>